Hello friends, good afternoon. Today I am coming up with a very short video tutorial on product variant sale price. So the use case is in reality when we are you know configuring different type of product attributes, we can define deferred extra price of attribute value. So over here, let's say if I am defining any extra price on my master attribute level and then if I am configuring any new product and then use all this attribute let's say color so if I select everything and my sales price is let's say zero then variant price will be equal to my product variant values if I give any default sales price, let's say 100, then this variant extra price will be added on top of 100. So this is how it will work. Now if I add another attribute and then it will be combine all the prices and then it will increase the price based on base price of the product plus first variant value price and second variant value price. But in certain cases, what happens? I don't want to, you know, control my price based on this particular value price extra. So what we have to do is we have to make it, let's say zero. Okay. Now, what happens is it will continue the price of 100 plus secondary parameter of size. Now if I want to give again 0. So here on this particular product my base price will be there which is applicable according to my sales price over here. Now what I need to do is I need to control my price but if I go inside this I cannot edit this particular sales price. So what I need to do is, yes, in our Odoo Community Association, we have this product variant sales price module, which is available till version 70. So I will just go into my apps and I install this module. Once I install this module and if I go to my product variants, So any variants or any product template, so let's say this new B, I go inside, then I can change this particular price manually on each variant. So now if I want to set, let's say, for all green color, if I want to set price with 125, I can directly update over here. For my black color, I want to give 130. So this is how easily I can manipulate my price based on my variant. And then it will work for all the black color 130, for all the green color 125, for rest of the color 123 which is base. So with this module, with this trick, you can manually update sales size of different combination of variant rather than given by variant values. Hope this module and this trick will help many people to configure the difficult product variant price based on manual sales price updation, not based on variant values. Thank you guys. Good day.